What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we are going to make a fix. And we're not just gonna make a fix, we're gonna make a brandy fix. And the reason why we're gonna make a brandy fix is because the rep for Argonaut Brandy came by yesterday and gave us some goodies to play with and I wanna play with them. So Argonaut Brandy is a uh, company making American brandy. It's distilled in California. Uh, what I really like about it actually is that it has a um, chart on the back showing you all the grape varietals so it's 100% transparent as to like what grape varietals and what percentages are going into their brandy, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, brandy is having kind of a moment in the cocktail world right now, so is cognac and American brandy is becoming a big thing. There's a bunch of companies that are doing it well. Argonaut is one of them. Um, if you, now here's the thing, the bummer about Argonaut is that it's only available in California at the moment. That being said, if you do uh, live in a state that you can ship booze to, uh, you, can, you will be able to get this at K&L Wines and they have a website and they do ship out. Also, there's a place called Bitters and Bottles in San Francisco that ships as well and they're a big supporter of this brand. But if you don't want to do that, just supplant it with cognac. You can also do a cognac fix and it would, I like to use the Pierre Ferrand 1840 90 proof cognac, which is the one that uh, you see me use mostly on this channel. But today we're going to do it with brandy. Uh, okay, cool. So the fix was a cocktail created well, if not created, at least made popular by Jerry Thomas. He published it in the first edition of the uh, Bon Vivant's Guide or How to Mix Drinks in 1862. Um, and although we're using simple syrup to sweeten it, it looks like the last drink we're gonna be doing with simple syrup today, or unless we make more simple syrup, um, even though we're, we're, we're using simple syrup to sweeten it, it actually, historically, you can use not just sugar syrup, but any type of fruit syrup as well was used to make this drink. Anyway, my crushed ice is getting old, so we don't want it to melt all the way and get crazy. So let's just get into it. The first thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, which is exactly how much we have left, which is great. And then three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And then just two ounces of our brandy. Okay. And then because we're doing a crushed ice cocktail, we're gonna do a whip shake. If you have not seen the episode where I talked about it yet. Um, basically you add just like a little tiny dash of crushed ice to the cocktail or to the tin. And then we lock our tins and just shake it lightly. What we're doing is combining the ingredients and adding a little water. It's not gonna be super diluted this way and it's not gonna be super chilled but you'll get the chill and extra dilution from when we pack the cocktail in ice because this particular cocktail will be packed in ice. So we just do that. We kind of listen to it till it's mostly dissolved into our cocktail. And then we just pour the contents into a glass. Okay, we'll get that out of the way. And then we are gonna take our crushed ice here and pack the cocktail with our crushed ice. Today the crushed ice is not the great, wonderful pebble ice because my pebble ice sort of froze over so I decided to use a hammer and hammer out the ice so it's not gonna be that like awesome, just amazingly, just, just attractive pebble ice, but this is good enough. You don't wanna whack it. If you decide to whack like regular ice in a Lewis bag or whatever, um, just make sure that you don't whack it so much that it becomes shaved ice. You want it to be somewhat pebbles anyway. And then we're just gonna garnish it with an orange wedge and a cherry. And I like to just situate the cherry on the side here to make sure that most of the um, syrup juice falls off because you don't wanna add that to your cocktail. I'm just gonna make a little space right there and then add it to our cocktail. Beautiful, that worked out brilliantly. And there we have it, my good friends, the Brandy Fix. And now I'm gonna take our sippy cylinder that I did not have on set because I guess that's just the way of it. And we're gonna taste it and find out what it tastes like. Well, obviously the Brandy is the star of the show. So choosing your Brandy it's going to mix well with this sour is, uh, you know, that's going to be a thing. So the brandy's right up front. That's going to be the most important thing. And the brandy's right up front. The sugar's balancing out the, li the lemon. It's a little bit tart. It's wonderful. You get a lot of those sort of uh, nut nutty notes from the brandy itself. 
Uh, I mean, I would drink a couple of these. Now, Ed, the other thing I wanted you guys is there's basically a sour that is just served down over crushed ice. So uh, you have your um, you have your uh, your sour. Anyway, there you go. I don't know what more to say about it. I was searching for more things to say, but I got nothing more to say. The drink speaks for itself. There you have it, my friends. The brandy fix.